This is Scott Farms 2019 uh, peanut harvest. Uh, this is them harvesting a field of irrigated, well, mostly irrigated peanuts uh, in Faceville, Georgia, just south of Bainbridge, Georgia, about 15 miles south of Bainbridge. Right now they've got uh, five uh, 8,000R series John Deere's. Uh, four of them are pulling uh, a modest 2110. Uh, peanut combines with the OCS or offload commodity system. Basically it's just they, they're able to unload on the go without stopping. And they also have one 8000 R series running a AR2200 advanced rotary peanut combine. This is the same field I videoed uh, last week. Well, early, yeah, well, I guess it wouldn't be last week. Today is Saturday the 28th. Uh, this would have been this past Monday. They started uh, inverting these peanuts. Um, they worked on it Monday and Tuesday. They also have two 8000 R series uh, tractors running KMC dump carts unloading onto the trucks. I don't know what what they actually got running out here in the field. I'm pretty sure they've got some 8295 R's, some 8245 R's and some 8370Rs. I just don't know what's running what right now. There's hardly any wind today and it's a shifting wind. What we have, it'll blow from the north one moment and give it five minutes and it's blowing from the south and it's not blowing very hard when it's moving and the dust is just settling so it's not a very a uh, clear picture for filming today. We well, just have to make do with what we got sometimes. I'm going to zoom out. In the far right you can see the first uh, tractor with con uh, peanut combine. I believe that is an 8370R because it does have the front mount duels and the only thing they have running front mount duels that I've ever seen is 8320 and 8370Rs and the 8320Rs are both on the peanut inverters. You can see the first and the second and the third is closest to us and there's a fourth all, it's all the way in the back that you cannot see him right now and number five is in the far left of the screen oh you can just see the number uh fourth one in the very back he's just turning around i was hoping to catch them when they first started this morning to line up in a row but for some reason they when they knocked off yesterday afternoon they just stopped mid row and that's where they started back this afternoon And we've been having some unseasonably warm weather for us. Normally this time of year, uh, the end of September, we're starting to get some cooler weather, at least in the mid to upper 80s. Uh, for the past week, it's been 96 to 98 degrees just about every day with 70 degree dew points that's been just been hot hot and humid I think that's one reason why they let these peanuts dry as long as they, they did normally they usually start after three days but they waited a full five days on most of these
Yeah, I do believe this tractor is in one of their 8370Rs. Picking peanuts is a slow process. Uh, these conventional combines are running maybe two miles an hour. They probably can top out at about 2.5. I know these advanced, the advanced rotary peanut combines are supposed to be able to go about a mile, a half a mile to a mile, three quarters of a mile per hour faster through the field and still get the same amount of uh, threshing capacity and 
cleaning capacity on them. But from what I watched of Glen Herd Farms and one other uh, farm across the river, the advanced rotary one seemed to break down a little bit more, even though they're supposed to have a lot less moving parts. Well, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out some other videos on YouTube under South Georgia Farming. Thanks for watching, guys.